All right, burps and belches. Check out the big brain on Daryl. He told me in the hall that the vagus nerve is the nerve system in your body which controls the whole digestive system. It starts at the brain and branches through most of the body. Hey, I bet you were one of the talented ones that could burp on command. <laughs> and even say entire belchy sentences. When you do this, you are burping from your esophagus. Belching from your esophagus is voluntary, which means that you can control it. Like, uh, did you know that, uh, that everyone burps? Yeah, and like every living person burps about 15 times a day. Probably like because it feels so good. Like, uh, dogs burp after they eat just like we do. Cows also burp. The burps from a single cow from one day could fill up two refrigerators full of burp gas. Uh, it's true. Like, uh, people who uh, eat fast, talk while they eat, and suck on cigarettes and cigars burp more than the average person's 15 burps a day. Like, uh, the source of all burps is, uh, like your stomach. Oh, say can you see? By the dawn's early light. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Like, uh, did you know that, uh, that everyone burps? Yeah, and like every living person burps about 15 times a day. <laughs> Pharynx, a little chamber where the nose and the mouth come together, basically the back of your throat. Esophageal sphincter, a gateway of muscles between the throat and the esophagus. Esophagus, a pipe that carries food from your mouth to your stomach. It's about 10 inches long. Oh, God, gross me out. Trachea, also known as your windpipe, the pipe that connects your mouth and nose to your lungs. Bolus, a chewed up ball of food that is swallowed in journeys down the digestive tract. Mucosa, moist tissue that lines hollow body organs like the esophagus and squirts out mucus. My fellow Americans, if you see this man on the street, do not feed him soda or any other carbonated beverages, or he will burp on you. Ooh. Mucosa, moist tissue that lines hollow body organs like the esophagus and squirts out mucus. Submucosa. Tissue layer under the mucosa that contains blood vessels, nerves, and mucus glands. Diaphragm, a wall of muscle that separates the chest area from the abdominal area. The diaphragm moves up and down to help you breathe. Cardiac sphincter, a gateway of muscles between the esophagus and the stomach, which helps keep strong stomach acids out of the esophagus. Yeah, 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 this is the guy that burped on my pizza last week. You know, buddy, now I got something for you. Fundus, the wide upper part of the stomach. Stomach, a tough, muscular organ which stretches to collect all the food and liquid you eat, then contracts to squash all this up. Epithelium, any layer of cells lining an organ or surface. The stomach epithelium secretes mucus as well as juices needed for digestion. Pylorus, the lower, narrow part of the stomach where most food digestion occurs.
Guess what? It's time to challenge that raging big brain of yours to see if you still got it or you ain't never really had it. So, if you're ready to get an official certificate as a registered belchologist with a professionally sanctioned and licensed undergraduate degree in gasology, then go to the barf bag now and click on the barf splat that says, Certify me! Dude, like that is way cool! Hey, can you burp out the Star Spangled Banner and stuff, huh? Duodenum, the beginning of the small intestine, where the acids from your stomach are changed to become neutral. Tongue, a soft but muscular part attached to the bottom of your mouth, which contains taste buds and pushes food around so it can be chewed thoroughly. Oh, too bad. If you want to give it another shot, just click the Try It Again button. Hello there! Welcome to Little Gash's Grotto Swamplands National Park. I'm Mortimer, and these are my buds, Stanley and Walter, Burpo Rama champions of the entire country. <laughs> Those guys have been pounding cheap cola for the last three hours, just waiting for a challenger, and it looks like it's gonna be you. Now, all you do is listen to Stanley and Walter belch, and then repeat back the order in which they belched by clicking on them. The number of belches that you repeat back correctly will be shown on the sign. The more the better. Hey, but watch for surprises. Sometimes the local critters like to get in on the fun and do some burping of their own. So, if you hear one of them burp after Stanley or Walter, do make sure to click on them as well. Well, good luck. <laughs> Player number... Player number one, you're up.
Yeah. <laughs> 